Seven seconds left to go in the game. 27-23 Chargers. 37 seconds to go in the game. Chiefs have the ball at the 17 of the Chargers. McKinnon stationed to the right of Mahomes. Ball was snapped on the near hash. Chiefs load up three to the left side. Mahomes crossing pattern caught. Kelsey 10 yard line, five yard line, touchdown! Kansas City! Will Kelsey do it to the Chargers again on a crossing pattern? A touchdown! And now Travis Kelsey, a 17 yard touchdown reception to take the lead, plus his 33rd 100 yard receiving game of his career. The most by a tight end in National Football League history. And at 31 seconds, the Chiefs take a 29-27 lead. Second and 15 for the Chargers. 26 seconds to go in the game. Two timeouts left. Chiefs lead 30-27. to Chiefs still playing press on the receivers with two deep safeties. Herbert's in trouble again. He will unload it down the middle. It's going to be deflected and intercepted. Intercepted at the 42-yard line. Yes, Nick Bolton. Why not, Nick Bolton? He's playing at an all-pro level. And the Kansas City Chiefs are going to do it again to the Chargers in this stadium. The field is an interception by Kansas City. Chiefs win it over the Chargers in L.A. Lots to talk about. My takeaways from the game. And we're going to talk about the AFC West because the Chiefs have pretty much won the AFC West before Thanksgiving. Let's get into it, TPT people. 65 toss power trap. That might pop wide open, Rats. Well, everybody, the Chiefs get it done in an absolute trailblazer of a game. Chargers, Chiefs, everything you can ask for in an AFC West battle. Herbert was great. Patrick Mahomes was great. But Patrick Mahomes was just a little bit better. The difference maker, Travis Kelsey. Travis Kelsey getting it done. Three touchdowns. If you're sitting there and you're still not saying, and I'm just going to fire right into this, guys. I got a lot to say today. That Travis Kelsey is not the best tight end in the league and a top three tight end of all time. I don't know what you're watching. I don't know what you're watching. I mean, double teamed. Der- Derwin James was all over him all game. And what did Kelsey do? Get open play after play. Almost unguardable. Unguardable. Absolutely insane. The Chiefs were were getting me a little upset because it was run after run, Pacheco, first down. And maybe I should play the clip of me last week on Friday before the game talking about how Pacheco is going to be the difference maker. I did have him scoring a touchdown. He didn't. But I had him scoring a rushing touch, or I had him scoring a hundred rushing touchdown and a hundred yards. Excuse me. And he got the hundred yards off the fifteen carries. I thought he played great. Clyde, I think he's definitely done. Uh, he may be done for a couple weeks, three to four weeks. So Ronald Jones looks like will be in that position, stepping up in his role. But it looks like he's just going to be the backup for Jarek McKinnon. But the Chiefs were out some guys. Kadarius Toney went out of that game. Thornhill. You didn't have Juju Smith-Schuster. You didn't have Hardman. But Justin Watson stepping up. Sky freaking Moore. I said I want to see Sky Moore play better. Is Sky Moore, is he basically a red-shirted this year? Is he just done? Sky Moore went out there and was a balling. Playing like Julian Edelman out there. Let me know what you guys think about Sky Moore and Justin Watson, some of these guys, in the comment sections below. Get involved in the comment section. Let me know how what your guys' reaction was with the game. I'm curious to see your guys' thoughts. But Sky Moore was clutch, play after play. And Mahomes, he's MVP. He's MVP. He's locked it up almost. I think he's he's locked it up. 
I think Mahomes has got the MVP in the bag. He's playing at the same level he did in 2018. He, he really is, folks. He's on pace for 5,800 yards. Absolute phenomenal right now for Patrick Mahomes. Another thing I want to get into before I get back into the game is all the people in the offseason that just doubted the Chiefs. They get there the one seed right now, and they have the AFC West locked up. They will be official AFC West champions in probably two to three weeks once they play the Broncos. The AFC West, and I saw a tweet from Ken Swanson. I'll put it up here. They spent a billion dollars to beat the Chiefs, the AFC West teams, and this is locked up by Thanksgiving. And I also saw the exact numbers. J.C. Jackson, Devontae Adams, uh, Randy Gregory, Russ, all those guys they brought in, Cleo Mack. The AFC spent $585 million to stop the Chiefs. Those are the exact numbers. $585 million to stop the Chiefs. That's half of a bill, in case you folks don't know. And they can't do it, and this thing is locked up by Thanksgiving. I didn't even had my turkey yet. And this thing is locked up. Patrick Mahomes is out for revenge. All the people that said they knew needed Tyreek Hill. Patrick Mahomes is out for blood this year. This team is very, very capable of winning the Super Bowl. My only thing is what the Chiefs would have a problem with is in the first quarter, they won't adjust. It'll take them two to three quarters to finally adjust. Pacheco was killing them the whole game, and they wouldn't adjust. They wouldn't get out of their stupid zone, putting two deep safeties back. I didn't get that. I didn't get that by Spags. But Spags, I thought the defense played well because the defense only allowed a deep pass, and that led to a touchdown, uh, Keenan Allen. But I thought they played pretty well. I thought the defense played pretty well. They got stops when need be. So I was proud of the defense. I thought it was solid. Five sacks. Chris Jones is looking like a defensive player of the year. Um, Sneed went out, came back in. I thought he played well. Nick Bolton, he made some stupid penalties, but I also thought he was also a game record. Nick Bolton is absolutely insane. He had the pick to end of the game. I mean, the Chargers are the, the, the Chargers are a are a good team if they just stay healthy, but the Chiefs are different. Again, the, the Chiefs had people out as well and had to make up for it, and they were still ready to win that game. Crawled back. And Travis Kelsey, uh, I, I, I just can't say enough. Just a different thinker. The, a player I also thought was getting back there, and he's getting so close to getting sacks, is George Karloftis. I thought Karloftis is just getting there, getting so close, getting pressures that is forcing other guys to get sacks. He's pressuring, and he's uh, Herbert's out, was having to step up in the pocket. And um, Michael Dana. Michael Dana played absolutely phenomenal. He was getting to Herbert. Um, you saw Patrick Mahomes step up in the pocket and have a nice run in that last series of the game for the Chargers. You saw Justin Herbert try to do the same thing, and he could not do it. Couldn't do it. The Chiefs are a different team. Something I talked about last week was getting Pacheco the ball more, and I thought they did a good job. I said I want to see him get like 20 carries a game because the Chargers are such a bad run defense. And look at Pacheco. Some things that we talked about came to fruition. Pacheco ran the ball great. I I think he's the, he's the back now. He's the starting back. Running with power. He had 100 yards on, I think, 15 carries, 17 carries. Played very, very well. I thought the offensive line is shaky, but when they give Patrick Mahomes a clean pocket, Patrick Mahomes lights him up. Third and 14, find Justin Watson. Absolutely insane. So running the ball, I think, is going to be key because it helps the Chiefs get in play action, and it helps the Chiefs open things up. So, Andy, for the love of God, please run the ball more because they came out their first couple drives and they ran the ball. Another guy I want to talk about, Harrison Bucker. Harrison Bucker's back. Played very well. 12 points from Harrison Bucker. Shout out, Butker. Thought he played well. Uh, Some other guys I want to shout out. 
Justin Watson, of course, all the tight ends. The tight end room played phenomenal. Forreston had a deep pass. Noah Gray almost had a huge first down, but even though he was blocking, catching passes, and of course Travis Kelsey, we're, we've already been talking about it. So I thought the tight ends played phenomenal. So the tight end group, I may just give the tight end group my my game balls. We'll find out here soon who I'm going to give my game balls to. But I thought the tight end group played phenomenal. All right, everybody. So the AFC West. I'm going to go back talking about the AFC West here a little bit before we head out of here on this Tuesday edition of the TPT Podcast. Like I was saying before, everyone has not their turkey yet, and this AFC West is wrapped up. Their next upcoming games are Rams, Texans, Bengals, Broncos twice, Raiders, Seahawks. That's it. The best two teams they play is the Bengals and the Seahawks. The Rams, yes, you still have to watch out for them, but they play the Rams at Arrowhead next week. So, I want to hear from you guys. What do you guys think the rest of their schedule is going to be? How do you guys think they fare out? Do they win out? Can the Kansas City Chiefs win out? The main important thing is getting everyone back healthy, getting Harmon back healthy, getting uh, Kadarius Toney back, all those guys back healthy and ready to go. If they can be healthy, ready to go into the playoffs, there's not too many teams that can stop them. The only team that can stop them is their selves. All right, everybody, game balls. Let's see who's getting those game balls of the week. We give out three game balls to three Kansas City Chief players. But before I do, make sure you go check out Jaden's jerseys because you can get awesome gear like this, this, and that jersey behind me. At 50 subscribers, we are giving away a jersey. So make sure you guys are liking, sharing, subscribing because I'm going to give one of my subscribers a free jersey. So make sure we do that. But make sure you guys go check out Jaden's jerseys, my Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok because we go TikTok live every day and talk all sorts of sports, not just Chiefs. But if you're a sport, if you're a fan of all sports, we talk all sports. But for my game balls, I'm going to give my first game ball out to Patrick Mahomes because you have to because he's Patrick Mahomes. Played absolutely phenomenal. Had three touchdowns on pace for 5,800 yards. He will shatter the NFL record for passing yards. And he'll be close to 50 touchdowns. And the, there's teams like the Texans he could play and the Broncos and the Raiders where he could have three to four touchdowns, especially versus a team like Houston, and that could bump his total up even more. So we'll see what Patrick Mahomes, how he fares the rest of the season, but I, I'm almost guaranteeing he gets MVP. Almost guaranteeing it. So Patrick Mahomes gets the game ball number one. Game ball number two. His his dynamic duo, and they may be a top three duo of all time. I know they need some more Super Bowls. But Travis Kelsey. Travis Kelsey has more touchdowns than Russell Wilson has passing touchdowns right now. I think he's leading the league in touchdowns by, by two or three touchdowns. He's had two games this year with three touchdowns. He's absolutely insane. Absolutely insane. So he's definitely getting my second game ball. And for my third game ball, I'm giving it to Harrison Bucker. 12 points. People were doubting him, saying, oh, he's just not. I mean, I was a little bit. He's not playing good. He's not very good. You know, what is Harrison? What's wrong with him? Went out there, made all of his kicks right up the middle. So Harrison Bucker, Travis Kelsey, and Patrick Mahomes, the nucleus of this team, played very, very well to get it done in an AFC West battle versus the Chargers to wrap up the AFC West. All right, everybody, that'll do it for today's video. We will have some more videos this week. We will start posting more on the weekend, so you guys get some weekend videos. We'll have a Sunday video with some special guests. Stay tuned for that. You guys are going to love it. But, of course, make sure you guys go follow us on all special social media, and it's going to be all right here to my left and right. Make sure you guys go check that out. We will see you on Friday for another edition of the TPT podcast. Thanks for watching. Make sure you guys hit that notification bell, follow us on all social media, and check out our videos each week.